Well, you're in bed awfully early. Well, not actually in bed. I'm just laying on her. Long hair stuff. I kind of had you figured for a swinging guy. Just doing a little reading, that's all. Okay. Sorry. Just go right ahead. I miss you. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. You, Buke, you old sidewinder. How are they hanging? <laughs> Buck Miller. Oh, Buke, you remembered. What the hell are you doing in Landview? And in my club? Our club. I'll talk to you later. What are you doing here? And what in the name of Sweetwater are you doing with her? We were just a little involved, Arthur. Oh, fuck, fuck! You never change, you son of a gun. You'll do anything to squeeze out a little laugh on one of your old rivals. I tell you, you are a card. Oh, Asa. I wasn't aware that there was anything funny going on here. Look, what's your name? If you don't tell me who you are right now, I... Draw attention to us. That's the last you'll see of your little boyfriend, pal. I mean that. Where is he? I don't know. Where is he? It's just to get him. Come inside with me. No. I need to talk to you. before, but hey, I'm not proud. I'll apologize again. I'm sorry for what I put you through on the stand. Now, I know apologies don't make up for what I did. Oh, you got that right. Well, I know, all right? I brought up your past with Dorian so that I could plant a seed of doubt in the jury's minds. It can't be taken back, but it was something that had to be done. And as long as you're a police commissioner and I am a criminal defense lawyer, it's probably going to happen again. Well, that's music to my well, ears. Well, we've talked about this before, Bo. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. And I'm a good lawyer. Oh, yeah. And as long as I'm going to be a good lawyer, I have to do things that... I'm going to have to do things that they're going to seem ruthless and cruel. Yeah, ruthless and cruel. Well, at least I have a healthy outlet for my aggression. is my job that I do. I have to do it, and I will continue to do it until someone gets in my face and tells me I can't do it anymore. Maybe not even then. Well, that figures. You're the same way about your job and what you do. So what do you want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah, what do you want to do? Do you want to call it quits? Should we call it quits? We could just short circuit this from, from ever happening again. Or, or we can call this a sanctuary. Where we just, we put aside our work and our feelings and our opinions and our winnings and our losings and we just don't even think about them anymore from the moment we walk in the door at night. Mm. 
No. could have seen it. Yeah, it's too bad that she changed her mind like Well, that. it's it's typical. I mean, you know, we, we set things up to get her out, and then she wants to stay behind. But, you know, if it's what she wants, that's good. Do you think she's getting worse? I mean, more depressed? No, no, not really. I mean, at least she's not threatening to divorce me because she can't get me a child. She's still seeing Dr. Jonas, right? Yes, three times a week. She's grieving, and, uh, you know, the, what she should have done last fall when we lost William. So, um, she'll get through it. I gotta get going. Well, you know, I'll do anything I can to help you. I know. I'm grateful. I gotta go. You gonna be okay? Fine. Give Cassie a hug for me. I will do that. Bye. Bye. Thank you. 
Oh. Hey, you know where Rebecca is? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's right over there. Oh. I guess she left. What, what do you mean she left? Yeah, it was some guy in a Zorro outfit. Hey, Paula, you better move fast before somebody moves in on your girlfriend. Wait, 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 wait. What did this bozo look like? No, 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 Zorro. Fine, Zorro. What did he look like? He looked like Zorro. He was wearing a costume. Milton, could you give me a little help here? Okay, okay, I guess he was tall. You guess what? Taller than you? Yeah, but, but this guy was built, you know? No, no. Broad shoulders? Yes, definitely a mesomorphic. Milton? Okay, athletic, strong. Where did they go? Which direction? Outside, towards the parking lot, I'm not sure. Todd, answer me! Where is Pal? I told you, I don't know. Tell me! I am telling you. I don't know. I don't care about Pal. I didn't come back here to see Pal. came back here to see you. Back from where? Back from the dead. But you already knew that, didn't you? Todd. I was in New York City. There's like eight million people there. Not one of them could tell me what I wanted to hear. That you were fine. That you missed me. Are you fine? Yes. Did you miss me? I was worried if you were okay. So worried that you told the cops where I was? What? It's just a simple question, Rebecca. Did you sell me out to the cops? Sell you out? I need to know. Did you turn me in? Are you green? Get that thing out of my face, will you? Sorry. I don't know whose clothes these aren't, Jess, but... This is so creepy. Especially after they heard that Todd Manning was in here for weeks. Yeah, well, maybe these clothes are his. Oh, no. No, they can't be. I overheard Uncle Bo and Cor talking, and the, the police took everything that belonged to Todd out of here. But maybe he came back. Oh, God, no. Relax. He's not here now. What if he is? What if this stuff is his? What if Todd was the one that scared Keith away? What if he was in here while me and Keith were in here? And what if he carried me to the porch and after I passed out? We gotta call Uncle Bo. Now. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. No quitting. You don't want to do that either, do you? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I love you. I just, I just, it was such an obvious choice. I just thought I had to say it out loud. Well, well, then the answer is no. And there's no sanctuary here either. I'm not going to walk in the door and pretend that the real world doesn't exist out there anymore. So what do we do? We keep staring icicles at each other and we can't even say hello to each other because I can't, I can't do that, Bob. I, I can't live like that. I just can't. I, I think if we're going to go head to head, we have to be able to get past all of that. We have to be able to concentrate on what really matters. That's absolutely right. And what really right. matters here is I love you. And I and love I want you, you too. What? I said I love you too. You know, it's going to take a lot more to scare me off by you just being a good lawyer. If that's what you're expecting, you're in for a rude awakening. Oh, my God. And you're right. You're right. We have to get past it. And believe me, I have gotten past it. I mean that, honey. It's going to take a lot more than uh, your garden variety, vicious, insensitive, cruel lawyer type tactics to break old Rawhide Buchanan. OK? <laughs> What was I thinking? Yeah. 
You know, you held up pretty good on the stand, better than most people I've ever put up, went after. I oh, think. is that really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Just wait till next time. That was just the opening act. You're gonna really love the floor show. You know, you are good. I like this. What? I like this, this dress-down look. What do you mean? Well, ever since you became Commissioner Buchanan, you wore nothing but suits. It's because I look awesome in suits. You look awesome, period. <laughs> I just uh, particularly like this very, um, I don't know, casual and kind of rumpled look. You call this a casual, rumpled look? I get a whole lot more dressed down than just this. What? Uncle Bo. Well, if it isn't Joey, add some more rape, you can. Yeah. Uh, sorry to bother you. We ought to be. But somebody's been in the garden shed. At Landfair? When? Tonight. Jessica and I... We think it may have been Todd Manning. Okay, you stay right there. Lock up all the doors, all right? I'll be there in three minutes. Talk about cruel, ruthless and cruel. Manning may be back. Becca, please. I gotta know. Say you didn't do it. Say you didn't betray me. Uh, no, I, I didn't. It wasn't me. I did, I knew, well, I didn't know that, but I prayed for that. Get that me, Brian. I did. Todd, please For you. Don't. So you, you do still love me. What? Why else would you protect me like that? No, no, oh, Todd, man. that's not why. I can't tell you how great this makes Todd, me feel. Todd, Todd. Oh, I feel like this, this huge, this huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Todd. When I thought that, that you... No, oh, no, I don't even want to think about that. I want everything just to stay the way it is right now, forever. Where we have happiness and a future together. What? Let me tell you something, Rebecca. We're going to have the time of our lives. This time, it's really gonna work. No, Todd. I wanna leave tonight. I, I was thinking Canada, maybe even Europe. I mean, if we could get some passports together, maybe a couple of dollars. No, 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 Todd, okay. I can't. All right, all right, listen, no Europe, that's fine. But still, you know, we're gonna be together. And we're finally gonna be happy. No, no, Todd, let go of me. I don't wanna go anywhere with you. We have to go somewhere. I mean, if you and I are going to have a future together... We don't have a future! I told you that! You're going back to prison, and I'm... You're what? I'm not any part of your future. No. <laughs> See, you are. Because this time, Rebecca, I swear... I'm not letting you go. That is the truth, cowboy. My search is over. This is the perfect woman for me. Really, Buck? Then this is not Alex Olenoff Hesse. It must be her twin. Because Alex Olenoff is nothing but a tricky, scheming, conniving, Greedy little heifer. Heifer? And I'll bet my last buck these are not the qualities you're hunting for in a woman, Buck. Now, you see, she's smart and she's beautiful. She's clever as a fox and she's funny to boot. And I'm going to be spending an awful lot of time with this fine woman while I'm here in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're not listening to me while we're on it. Why are you in town? Since when do I have to tell you all my secrets? As far as what I'm doing in town, that's none of your business. Mm. But I will tell you one thing. Landview would be Blandview if it wouldn't for this angel. <laughs> what the hell's going on, Alex? I go to Kuwait for a couple of days, close the deal. This little sidewinder comes in, drinks my whiskey, and kisses my business partner. 
And I sure do appreciate the hospitality. We'll see you later, Buck. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? I gotta go back to the hotel and make some calls. I'll be talking to you. You'll be a good boy now, Asa. Nice try, Alex. I cannot believe how rude you can be sometimes. Ain't gonna work. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I most certainly do not. But if I didn't know better, I would say that you were acting a little bit jealous. No, Alex, I'm not. So it looks like you're stuck with that little hick for nothing. Goodness, it's hard to decide where to start correcting you. Well, I'll tell you something, honey. I think you better save your energy. What does that mean exactly? Well, if you keep dragging little Buck Miller around by his belt buckle, sooner a lady's gonna propose to you. What would be the harm in that? Buck Miller's made more trips down the aisle than even I have. Oh, I just love a man with experience. Well, let's hope the experience doesn't kill you. What do you mean by that exactly? Well, all of Buck's former wives are dead or dumped. Make your choice. know for sure. History doesn't necessarily repeat itself, Asa. Even you're not dumb enough to take that chance. I gotta admit, though, honey, nice try. I know you think that my relationship with Buck Miller is a trick and that I'm trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but I'm not, Asa. You convinced me that you are a lost cause. So you're telling me you're looking for another target with a fat wallet? No, I'm telling you that there is a lot more to Buck than you give him credit for. He's kind, gentle, very affectionate. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a full suit of armor and you got your teeth screwed down tight, then maybe. He makes me happy. That's so cute, Alex. Don't be surprised if he does pop the question. And I just might have to take him up on his offer. Well, make sure you invite me to the wedding. Maybe he'll ask you to be his best man. Wouldn't that be festive? Ooh, that sounds so jolly. Please, knock off the bull. You just remember that all of this could have belonged to you, along with what you've always said was my brilliant mind. But I guess it's meant to be that it belonged to Buck Miller. So, you lose, Asa. Ciao, baby.
I thought you said it was neat in I here. said it was neater. I know the file's in here someplace. Yeah. Well, I'm glad the commissioner practices what he preaches. Now, that's a first-rate security system he's got there. Oh, yeah, he made sure to batten down the hatches tonight. He's on a uh, chase of Todd Manning. Back here in Landview? Why didn't he call me? Because you're just the DA. He'll call you when he gets him. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Here's the file. Thanks. It's amazing, isn't it? Just the uh, mere mention of his name changes your whole day. Yeah, I hear you. How are you doing? Well, I broke an ale last week, but other than that, I'm great. Scared? It, there's got to be some bad memories there. Oh, yeah. I think about it. It's nothing like being totally helpless, having a guy like that toy with you, telling you that he's... when he's finished, he's gonna... I'm fine. I really am. I'm fine. I mean... Frankly, I'm very worried about Bo hunting him down. Joey, Joey, here, give, give me the light. Give me the light. Can you, you know, you're waving around like that. You're going to make me cross-eyed. Sorry. Is this where the clothes were when you found him? No, right over there. So you moved him here? Yeah, just go through the pockets and stuff. All right. I don't see anything that uh, would positively ID them as... Mannings. Well, somebody was in here today. I mean, he, Keith said that somebody scared him away. Who's Keith? He's a friend of mine. We were uh, out here having a couple of beers. What are you doing out here? That's not cool, Joseph. Drinking beer? Come on. I know. I, I thought you grew up that last semester. Uh, um, I just got stupid. It won't happen again. That's good. 212 area code. That's New York City. That's the last place that... Uh, Manning was spotted. Hey, cool. Come on, they don't have these in Italy? Yeah, I just didn't know they had them here in Landview. Hello, uh, this is Commissioner Bo Buchanan from the Landview Police Department in Pennsylvania. Who am I speaking to, please? Mrs. Newland. Would that be Sarah Newland? Thanks, Joey. Yes. Look, we recovered a car. I'm not going to cover uh, for you again if it's about drinking, okay? Albert. Don't worry, you won't have to. I mean it, Chess. I know. No, maybe you don't. No, no, no. I know nothing would be fine. Listen, I'll cover for you to mom or to dad okay. or to Uncle Bo or whoever. Um, was his name but not if it's about something that's going to hurt you. Ted? And drinking is definitely going to hurt you. Okay, all right. Okay. I said Could you describe okay. him to me, please? You're blind. Okay. That's right, though. Long hair. Scar on his right cheek. Did he say what his plans were? No. Yes, we are looking for him. I can't answer that. I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, I do appreciate your help. Uh, somebody will be in touch with you about the car, okay? Thank you. Lady in New York City, she said she loaned her car to Manning. She's under the impression he is a good boy. You're kidding. No, she sounded real serious about that. Did she tell you anything else? Yeah, she's blind. It's obvious that Manning uh, conned her. He said he wanted to get back here to save his girlfriend from some terrible guy who had stolen her away from him. It's obvious he's talking about Rebecca. Bo, she's at the costume party tonight with Powell at the Serenity Springs Meditation Center. All right, you guys go back to the house, lock it up tight, okay? We're out of here. Come on, let's go. Hey, you. How about I make you a nice hot drink? What do you say? You're so sweet. <laughs> you know, I really have to get these ears checked. I'm um, sorry. What did you just say? I said you're sweet. And you know you are. Well, you have your moments anyway. Well, thank you, I think. I just don't think anyone's ever going to catch up with Todd. Wait a minute now. What kind of talk is that? Oh, I'm telling you, I mean, this whole, this whole chase, this whole search for him has been like <sighs> ups and downs and all over the East Coast and always leading into dead ends. And I, I just feel like he's unstoppable. Nora, guys like Todd always get caught. You know why? Because they can't cut and run. 
because they keep coming back and every time they come back they get closer and closer until finally they get burned <laughs> you always were a good student problem is Todd got burned and he still comes back I mean he was dead for crying out loud or so we thought I don't want to talk about Todd anymore I... okay no problem so counselor we're getting down to the bone of this Dorian Lord case huh Hey, now, since when don't you want to rag me about a case? Are we off the record? Well, let's see. The district attorney is in the police commissioner's bedroom with defense counsel. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, isn't that the way the intruder would report it? Oh. Look, Nora, I know we're going to have to talk about this. Off the record, friend to friend. Hey, what's going on with you? I hate this case. I'm doing everything I can, in every way I know how, to win a case that I don't necessarily believe in. Nora, you were assigned the case, okay? It's no disgrace that you can't put your heart into it. All the court asks is that you put all of your ability into it. I hurt Vicky so badly, you know, and she's been nothing more than a good friend to me. And I heard Bo. He got over it, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Hey, Bo's a classy guy. And he's got great taste in women. <laughs> I'll do anything to win, won't I? I've been telling you that for 20 years. I know, I know. But you won't win this time, Nora. It's like with Todd. Sooner or later, the clock runs out, tick-tock, tick-tock. You can't keep winning murder cases. This is the one you're going to lose, Nora. And Dorian Lord is going to prison for a long, long time, no matter how good you are. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> Bo? Yeah, honey, are you okay? You got everything locked up tight? Of course, where are you? I'm in the car. I'm on my way to a dance at Serenity Springs. Is it Todd? Yeah, I think so. I think he's going after Rebecca Lewis. No. Yeah, just pray I get there in time. Bo, be careful. He went in that way. That doesn't mean a thing, though. These paths wind all the way through the woods. We gotta split up, all right? Watch your backs. Anybody sees him, don't try to be a hero. Just yell, all right? Yell. Let's go. I'm going with him. No, no. You're the one thing Todd wants, and you're the one hostage we cannot let him have. Now, you're not going. But Powell went with him. What if Todd? Yes, listen, I understand, but Todd's totally fixated on you. You've gotta stay here where you're gonna be safe. You can't put yourself in that position again. Are you okay? We were fine, but Kevin Powell and a couple other guys took off. Where'd they go? They went after Todd in the wood, out into the woods. Okay, you sure you're both okay? Both? Yes. Okay, where's our back? On its way. All right, let's move.
Hey, buddy. It's me. Todd. Your blood brother, huh? Womb to tomb. Things certainly have come full circle, haven't they? Get it. This is kind of an anniversary for us, isn't it? You've been chasing me like a bat out of hell from the beginning. Well, beginnings. They certainly turn into endings sooner or later. And this, my friend, is the end. Believe me. They don't appear to be jovial, sir, if I may say. I am far from being damn jovial. This is going to be your toughest assignment yet. Assignment, sir? What assignment? You can't let me weaken. You can't let me do some stupid thing like trying to steal Alex from Buck Miller. The best thing that could happen to me is she marries that pint-sized barrel of Texas crude. That'd be, they'd let me off the hook. One can always hope, sir. What, what is he doing here, anyway? Not a clue. That's your job. Find out why he's in town and what hornet's nest he's planning on sticking his nose into. Yes, sir, but... Uh, no hey, buts, hey. Nigel, please, just do it. As you wish. You sure you're all right? I'm fine. You in any way? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. It's just Howell's still out there, and and tell you, Todd, he hit him so hard. Yep. But he got right back up again. He's okay. He'll be fine. Hey, how about you? Are you doing okay? I'm fine. All right. How was Bo when you saw him? He's fine. Hey, Todd, is any luck? Nothing. No. Been over practically every inch of those woods. Not a sign of him. We didn't see Todd or Powell. They could be anywhere. But it's so dark out there. We could have walked right by him and not have seen him. You know? Yeah. Well, look, Bo's got some men out there searching. Manning won't get far. Hey, let's go back by the spa. Maybe, maybe he'll double back that way. All right? Wait, wait, wait. If he feels trapped, if he feels cornered, then he could do anything. These police are well trained. Yeah, and what about Powell? He's out there still. He's, he might be with Todd right now. If he's frightened, if Todd gets frightened, he... God, Rebecca, Rebecca! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it off. Keep it off. You never were a contender ever. And now it's over. It's over. The one thing, the one thing that I cared about, you took that away from me. She's way, way too good for you, pal. She's pure and perfect and honest. And you think she's not too good for you? Tell me, pal. Are you going to use your last breath telling me what a loser I am? Sure, why not? Rebecca sees the good in me. I need that. Without that, I'll die. Then die. You are never coming between me and her again. I don't have to. She hates you. She's scared to death of you, and she hates you. She's seen what's inside you. She knows you're nothing but a monster. I don't know what I was waiting for. I should have done this a long, long time ago, brother. 